Welcome to the Vine Vinecast. I am sitting with the beautiful Shashi. Sashi. Sashi. Sashi and I. How are you doing today? Very well, thank you. Good. So we are at your house yes. and your work. Yes. Because you've just opened a modeling agency. Yes, indeed. So tell us a little bit more about this modeling, modeling agency. agency. The modeling agency we started about a year ago. Um, it's called Alushi Management. Um, the booker's name is Alice and my name is Sashi, so Alushi. Okay, very nice. And yeah, it sounds French. <laughs> <laughs> and basically, you know, um, we just decided to open it. I've been in the industry for a while and we, you know, there was a le we felt a lack of transparency within the industry um, for models, especially. So that's why we started and it's been going really, really well. Really? Yes. Well, our photographer was standing up against the wall with these shades and we'll take a picture of him so that people can see him out there and you're like, oh, you're here for the modeling. <laughs> so, so don't you want me to join the agency? Uh, Come sure. on. <laughs> Thanks, man. Hang on a sec. So we are talking to Sashi about her modeling agency. Let's break away from the interview for just a second, shall we? And check out some of her top models right here on the Von Podcast. <laughs> for your viewing pleasure, ladies and gentlemen, it's alushi.co.za. Okay, back to the Vine podcast. You were into chiropractic. Oh, yes. chiropract. You are a chiropractor. Yes, um, I we I've st studied for the five years mm. and done two years of internship okay. at at, um, at the chiropractic clinic. So I'm basically nearly there, but I've just got to hand in my thesis. So. Oh, the thesis. Eh? The dreaded thesis. <laughs> well, I've got aches and pains, Sashi, so... You know, everyone says that to me. I think the whole world has back pain. <laughs> <laughs> what, what would people say if I was, like, a proctologist? <laughs> uh, you know. <laughs> I wouldn't ask you anything. Like that, so. Okay, well, you've been doing this modeling. You've been doing TV presenting. Mm -hmm. And now you've opened the modeling agency. Mm -hmm. So what keeps you going in this industry? I mean, obviously, it's... It's quite a fast-paced industry and you get to travel and all of that. And oh, there's just so many things. I don't, you know what, I, I think everything was sort of happened by accident. I was studying chiropractic mm. um, and then my good late friend Antonio Summerton, he mm. actually said to me, you know, you really should try. He was actually a neighbor okay. and he said, you know, try out. And he took me to Gaynor, um, the, the agent, and I went there and uh, two weeks later I was in backstage. and. Uh, I think at school I'd always really loved the acting and the drama side of it. I, I just don't ever think anyone thinks it's something you can actually do as a career mm. and make money out of it. It sounds like you really can and you can do well at it. Um, so I think that's it. But I, you know what, for me, because I studied such an intense degree, um, it, it set me up for this because I think what you need to make it in this industry is a lot of hard work, mm -hmm. a lot of dedication and discipline. And a lot of people don't have that when they get into the industry because they think it's all about the fun and yeah. the partying. And, but I think that's why I managed to have longevity in, okay. in this industry. And you've still got lots to do, surely, eh? Yes, definitely. Because like, right now I'm acting on Egoli. Mm. Um, and yeah, and, t and I thought I'd be retiring from modeling by now, but this year has probably been the best year that I've had in modeling. Really? Yeah. Okay. Because you so, tell me you're going overseas next week. Yes. For modeling. Uh, I'm shooting a documentary. Oh, really? Yes. Um, in Chile. <laughs> um, wow. Yeah. Your talents are just so broad. I can't <laughs> keep up with you. So, what's the documentary about? Are you allowed to give us a little? Um, yeah. It, Chile basically has a booming economy um, and there are a lot of job and work opportunities for South Africans to go over there and uh, so we're basically doing it on that. We'll be okay. doing a lot of interviews and yeah, it's, it's a great project to be working on. Your modeling agency just Whenever I think of modeling agencies, I don't know if you've seen it, Janice Dickinson's modeling I'm Janice Dickinson. Are you? I'm, Jan I'm totally <laughs> So when people come in, do you say, get out, lose some weight, you know? No, I'm just kidding. Um, you know what I think? So models respect uh, honesty. If you're honest with a model and say, look, I think you could, you know. But I guess um, my, uh, my perception of beauty is very different to what an average agent would be. So having said that, yes, I'm honest with my models. But I also think, you know, the typical agencies, you have to be 175, you have to be skinny. I've never been any of those things. I'm not the prettiest and I'm, and I'm certainly not the tallest. So, but when I got into it, it was 
by fluke and and you know I've done well because I'm not that typical so we never we don't look for the typical you have to be this you know Icelandic mm. beauty um, so yeah so we are honest but you know we really do take girls that are different and not cool. necessarily but more, yeah well, like I said, if you need boys, uh, just give me a shot. <laughs> <laughs> All right, well, Sashi, thank you so much for your time today. That's it. Thank you. It's been thank perfect you. having you. Good luck with the documentary. And yeah, give us the exclusive so we can see it first. Okay? Yes, no problem. The Von Vodcast. The Von Vodcast, yes. Okay, cool. Hi, I'm Sashi Naidu, and you're watching The Von Vodcast. <laughs>